Hi, everyone, and Happy New Year. This is Anka Metcalf with Trade Out Loud. Uh, today is the first trading day of the year. It is January 2nd, 2019, and we're about 10 minutes away from the close of the trading session. It is 3.50 p.m. Eastern Time. In today's uh, recap, we will talk about the weekly futures market outlook for this week. All right, and we're going to begin with the Imini &E Dow. The Imini &E Dow has had it like all the indices have had a really rough and bumpy ride through the month of December, hence the big candle to the downside. Today, right now, towards the close, uh, the Imini &E Dow was balancing at the 23200 level. As you can see here, we're pretty much trading above February support level, which was that which was that 23040. Let's review the weekly charts, brand new week and brand new fresh candles that we have on our charts. Imini &E Dow was a little bit perkier than the S&P uh, because we did reverse and we are actually triggering a buy setup off the weekly level here but the buy setup that is occurring right now it is not it has not continued with velocity because we're trading into resistance level from february all the way into late march resistance as we will progress higher and if we try to manage to break above the 23 400 level we may continue higher now where's that level coming from well that's very easy we're going to go very quickly to the hourly chart to see what's going on so we have multiple resistance levels at the 23 400 not only set from the overnight trading session but also from last week's trading in fact from friday's trading and also from monday and also from this overnight trading session so uh at the way i see it right now we are definitely trading into a sideways range steeper and this is uh, the new normal for this volatile market uh, day traders are having, but even swing traders are having some uh, issues with this vol vo with these volatile moves in terms of stop levels because they are steeper than uh, we we did have even at the beginning of the year last year. Uh, once we trade over the twenty three four hundred level, we have room to progress higher. Now, high how, how high? Uh, can this market go if we actually break the 23400 level and this is something that is going to be on watch well i'm going to refer to the daily charts and i'm going to refer to the next uh key zones that i'm seeing in the market right here so if we trade over the 23400 level we may have a push back into the 23800 and perhaps in, even into the 24000 level we're left here so we tested this support level uh at the the 22861 level and we're progressing higher right now so in fact if you're looking at the daily chart uh, at, I'm sorry at the hourly charts right now we are definitely trading into a, a bullish environment so we have our low higher low higher low and we have a series of higher lows right here even though very sloppy but we are trading well above the 200 SMA on the one hour chart and also uh, we're trading very close to this range into the 24 uh, 23 400 right now pull back into a congestion zone 23 175 uh, it will be very interesting to see if we're going to finish up this bar right into four o'clock. Now, like I said, we still have about 10 minutes uh, to uh, the stock market close and 4.15 for, uh, for the futures indices. But when and if we manage to move higher and reverse off of this 23 uh, to 80 zone, we're still trying to work that uh, to work the price to push through these levels over to 80, we may have room to continue higher into the 400. I think key for the overnight trading session is going to be uh, these one hour reversals that may occur. So uh, we had a pretty steep, uh, pretty steep uh, 
uh, correction in the overnight trading uh, trading session that actually violated two or three levels of intraday support. And as typical, you know, we pulled in slingshot effect before we released uh, the buying pressure for much higher. So it was a total washout of all the stop level levels. Everybody that was long got crushed again, uh, pulled in steeper before releasing and continuing higher. So as we're going into the overnight trading session, I will be focusing on the one hour and the four hour charts for a continuation higher into the Emini Dow. And I think that the Emini Dow chart structure has a better appeal than other uh, than other Eminis. Let's uh, review the Emini SMP. And I know there are a lot of you guys that are uh, trading the Emini SMP. And uh, let's go to the weekly chart so I can show you why I really was not a big fan of uh, the m and SMP uh, today and why I'm seeing a lot more potential into the m and Dow. But nonetheless, they are very, very bullish uh, chart patterns uh, in general. So uh, let's go to the weekly here. Okay, so I'm testing a new projector on my computer. So right now it's a little sluggish. So uh, excuse that. All right, so uh, 25, uh, 2524 is going to be the release of buying pressure to the upside. Right now we're dealing with the resistance that is coming in from February. And once we trigger this rotation over 2524 or 2525 level, we can see some progression higher back into the 26th. Uh, 2600. So that's going to be about 100 points from where we are right now. So the target level of 100 points, uh, 100 points where we are right now. So that's a really nice, juicy, considerable void into the next resistance area that is going to be super, super uh, awesome if we continue the current trend. Now, going into the daily charts, and again, depending on your style of trading, whether you are more into swing trading or you're into day trading, remember that these higher time frames are going to help us determine where the institutional money is going and is flowing with the right directional bias. We're closing up the day pretty much in a doji. We're very close, like I said, to the end of the trading session. We're beefing up uh, right here into the price, 2505. Uh, very close to triggering above. Like I said, this is uh, this is the weekly uh, weekly high into the 25, 24, 25. Uh, 20, 25, 24, and 25, 25. Uh, and like I said, it uh, it has a lot of room into the next minor resistance into the 2580 and into the 2600. And obviously there are some uh, other minor resistance levels along the way, but these are the key levels to watch for in terms of targets uh, and et cetera. Some of you guys have emailed me over this long weekend uh, mentioning that you were in some swings long. And I do agree that uh, if you're still in, look for further targets into uh, at least into the uh, 2550, 2560, 25, uh, 2580 area and back into the 26, uh, 2600. All right. So what's in store for the trading session uh, tomorrow and into the uh, upcoming days, as long as we're holding the directional bias and uh, as long as we're trading with uh, with the uh, hourly uh, uh, with the hourly trend uh, reversal that we have in place right now, the hourly is really, really trying uh, for this trend reversal. And I think the breakout area is going to be the 2520, uh, 2520 area. We have a lot of resistance at this point, 2520. If we break over this resistance, there's going to be a lot of pressure. There's going to be a lot of buying pressure that is going to pump up the price to 25, uh, 50, 60, 80, and back into the 2600. So it's going to be uh, it's going to be a matter of pullback buy if you're going to, if you're an intraday trader. You know, if you like to focus on minor time frames, uh, the smaller time frames, one a minute, two a minute, even on the tick chart, I would definitely go with the progression of uh, of the flow to the upside pullback buys on any kind of time frame that you are. Uh, trading. So um, I think this, this is going to be the key. Uh, also, the support level that is set today, if we hold the current support level at the 2450, we definitely look higher into tomorrow's trading session. And uh, uh, 2520, if we're going to get the breakout in the overnight trading session, we may see a really nice continuation session uh, for tomorrow, uh, in, in obviously, in the New York trading session. 
All right, let's review NASDAQ. And I see a lot of positive, uh, positive uh, buys uh, in the FANGs today. Uh, Facebook had a really nice uh, reversal on the weekly. And there are some other stocks that had really nice uh, reversals. For instance, Netflix is getting ready for a reversal. Um, um, VIX, uh, VIX are actually pulling back right now and they look like they really want to pull back a little bit, uh, a little bit more. Uh, but definitely there were some really nice NVIDIA, uh, as well. Apple is getting ready. Uh, Amazon very, very strong today. So there are some, even Google. So there are some names that I have on my watch list that are really, really, uh, really appealing. Okay. Sorry for that. Uh, I was looking at my other charts. <laughs> okay. So we're going to um, definitely, uh, from the weekly perspective, let me just go to the weekly uh, quickly right here. Uh, from the weekly perspective, okay, uh, we have not triggered yet a, a weekly buy. So therefore, we're still standing. Here it is. We are not yet triggered into the weekly buy. Uh, 64, 64, uh, 6406 or 64, um, uh, 6400. This is going to be the area. In fact, I'm going to put an alert right here. Uh, and you can see that the price is a little bit sluggish, although we did have a re some really good results in some of these uh, tech stocks. Uh, we're still looking, uh, we're still looking a little bit, um, um, not weak, I couldn't say weak, but we're looking a little bit sluggish into NASDAQ. So it's not, was not as forceful uh, as uh, the m and Dow. Uh, so things are going to line up pretty easily. If we break over 6406, we're going to head higher. If we break below 6180, bam, we're going to go head back lower. All right, let's go to the daily charts. Daily chart running into resistance has not surpassed resistance yet. If we blast through this resistance, we're going to move higher. Uh, next target levels are going to be into the 65, 65, 20 level, 60, 600. And then we pretty much are looking for a next target level into the 67, 30 zone. So things are looking very good. There are some nice, considerable targets to take uh, advantage of to the long side. So definitely the bias is bullish for current price action, not unless something dramatically happens in the overnight trading session. Uh, but uh, th the way the market is structured right now, we do look higher for the overnight. If we blast over this resistance of 6406, 6410, uh, then we can explode more to the downside. Like I said, and it's super easy right here because we all we have to do is take a look at these ranges below 6180. Bam, we're going to go back down, possibly into uh, the 6050 area back again. All right, last but not least, from the indices, Russell. Uh, Russell is trading into a sideways range. I'm going to go very quickly to uh, the weekly chart. The weekly chart has just triggered this reversal over 61, pushing a little bit higher. I like the structure of this candle. We do have a lot of room to move higher back into the 1400. I will pay special. Uh, I will pay special attention to Russell in the upcoming days. Uh, from the daily charts, you can see that right now we've, we're trading into the higher directional bias. We still have room to 1400, so uh, it looks like a pretty smooth ride. Uh, um, coming in the near future. Uh, hourly chart again stopped right at resistance. Today was a constructive move into resistance and uh, um, 1362 is going to be the line in the sand. Above 1362, we're going to move higher, pull back buys all the way. Uh, smaller time frames, larger time frames, whatever your style of trading is, just look bullish. And I'm going to be looking bullish, obviously. And if we break below the 1325, we're going to head back lower into a steeper retracement. We can possibly go for uh, 20 points to the downside. All right. Uh, two more commodities that I will review today. And we're going to take a look at gold. Uh, gold has bottomed out. We have a multiple bottom right into this core cluster uh, into the 1280. Uh, we're pretty much uh, um, uh, stalling right now at this key zone right here after we hit a high of 1291 today. Now, very interesting. What I want to show, uh, share with you and also show you is that we're ending the 
day with the doji. Now, if we break below the doji below 1280, I think that we're setting up for a pullback into a minor support level. And I think we're going to get back into the 1265 to 1268 to 1270. This is going to be the pullback zone. Uh, just notice that the momentum is slowing down from the shape of the candlesticks. This is a slow down in the momentum. And if we break the 1280, bam, we're hitting that 1270 zone. So we have about 10 bucks to uh, uh, for uh, for a short bias here. Uh, if we hold this range, however, and it, the more we trade over 1288, I'm going to show you in just one second. This is going to be the tricky part here. Uh, the price needs to trade immediately over 1286 and 12. 87 in order to progress higher and if it gets into this location we will look, be looking for a pullback buys all the way into the 1290 there's a target at 1300 there's a target at 1305 there's another target at 1310 to 1312 so we're going to be looking for these next uh, following targets let's look at crude for the uh, for today and what's in store for this week now remember that the eight uh, EIA inventories and the API inventories are going to be delayed. Uh, we're going to get the first numbers Thursday night at 4.30 and then uh, the EIA inventories on Friday at 11 o'clock. So uh, this is because of the long, uh, long weekend. All right, so let's review. Obviously, we're going to be starting with the weekly chart. In fact, you know what? I'm going to start with a monthly chart. Okay, so monthly chart, we had a one, two, three bar pullback into the support level here. $40 is a lot of support for a uh, price at this level. $40, and then we have this congestion right here. All right, so right now, today's price action is showing a little bit of dynamics, and that's because we have rotated based. Uh, we have done a weekly rotation that I've mentioned that uh, also, I think on Twitter, uh, $47, so over $47, we blasted a little bit higher. But don't forget one thing. Don't be extremely positive uh, uh, to the upside or to the downside at this level. We are into support. Bounces are imminent or even sells are imminent at this level because we are trading into this core. So short term time, a uh, shorter term, let's say prediction is going to be higher based on current, uh, based on current, um, uh, based on current uh, rotation, technical rotation that we had from the support level and based on the weekly trigger, weekly buy triggered at $47. But quickly after the trigger, the price has fallen back into this range, back into the weekly range. More clarity we're getting from the daily charts. As you can see, we're getting a lift in the support level at 44 and change, 44.30. And today was the first time where we, when we broke actually over these highs uh, and these are the November 26th and November 27 highs of $47. And we are moving a little bit higher. Any pullback at this level may have a higher continuation into the $49.30. And that is the next minor resistance level. From the hourly perspective, we're, we the pullback has occurred, and I did mention this in the trading room. Uh, we will be looking at forty six dollars and forty six fifty for pullback buy locations for projection into forty seven dollars and forty eight dollars, forty seven fifty and forty eight dollars for higher. Okay, so this is uh, this is what what we're seeing in oil as an opportunity. Okay, let's take a quick look at the bonds. Uh, bonds uh, hit target of $147. I did mention the fact uh, in the trading room before the new year that we may have a major breakout in the bonds from uh, from the weekly, uh, I'm sorry, from the daily perspective, not from the weekly perspective. And the trade was uh, over uh, 146. The stop was 144. Uh, target one was 147. And we are trading into target one right now. We're actually uh, at that price location. And the second target is going to be into the uh, 147, 21 to 27. And then uh, if we consolidate at that level into the 147, 20, uh, 20 to 27, so that 
that resistance zone if we chew up that resistance zone we may have uh we may build on additional pressure to take the price back up into the 149 and 150 and this is going to be a great start for bonds to the year that had a really really rough 2018 and we're trading right now at the highs from April last year into the 147. Uh, also, we're trading into resistance, but the fact that we're holding, consolidating, uh, and we're building the brush of uh, uh, buying pressure, it just shows us that we're chewing up all that resistance from last year, and we're ready to break out uh, to break out even higher. And I think the decision point this year is going to come at 148. If we break over 148, and in fact 147, 147.20, like I said before, if we're getting that consolidation between 27 and 20 uh, into bonds, we may have additional uh, additional pressure to build in to that 150. Line. Level, which is going to be very, very constructive. Uh, for the smaller time frames, it's uh, actually um, uh, self-explanatory, right? Pullback buys along the way. Uh, today, we did have a little bit of, of, of a steeper pullback into the break-even area at the 146 before rotating higher. I advised my traders, if they were along this position, to raise the stops to break-even to have a risk-free trade as of right now, collect profits into the 146 seven and then uh, wait for additional uh, additional uh, levels to be uh, um, to be formed uh, in order to raise the uh, raise raise the stops all right so this is all for now thanks so much for tuning in and uh, I wish you all a great 2019 profitable 2019 don't forget that we're starting a brand new futures class if you want more information if you want to learn how to day trade and swing trade the futures or the equities market shoot us an email at info at tradeoutloud.com we also have promotional prices on all of for this week on all our services so if you want to join our trading room uh, and if you want to find out more information on our trading room feel free to visit our website it is tradeoutloud.com if you want to uh, find out more about our trading room is live trading room uh, of um, tradeoutloud.com forward slash live trading room thanks so much guys have a profitable trading week and once again happy and prosperous new year